welcome back to Resident Evil 1. Yes, um, let's, uh, let's uh, begin here. Last episode, we uh, almost got crushed and uh, killed by a, by a freaking ceiling. And uh, Barry helped us out. And uh, I kind of figured a little thing, a little bit out. I think Barry's a monster, zombie guy. So uh, I think he's a bad dude. Bad guy, I think he lives here. Just a guess? I don't know. And uh, there was a zombie in here, I remember, because he freaking ruined my intro, outro. Hello? Hello? Oh! Zombie! Did I kill him? Did I kill him? Did he die? Did he die? Did he die? I don't think he's dead. No, I'm not gonna walk over there. Oh, you know what? He's dead. Yeah, he's definitely dead. When you see the blood going all over the place, he's dead. There's nothing on the shelf. Oh, right. Also, I remember um, when I was reviewing last episode's ep uh, last episode of Resident Evil, um, I was cursing quite a lot. Whoa. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna try and limit that. Limit that a little bit. It's locked. The Spencer family emblem is carved into the door knob. Door the dog knob. It's locked. An emblem of armor is carved into the lock. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. Um, and also, we need to find a freaking typewriter. I don't want I wasn't expecting that to open. Ow. Ow, that hurt my neck. All right. So this is like a balcony. Uh, is there any potted plants here that we could take? All right. <gasps> ah! No! You freaking bestiality bitch! Sorry, I had to say the bitch because he's a dog. Get it? He's a dog. It's not. Get the fucking. Ah! Ah! Let's go. Let's go back to the typewriter. There's a bathroom right there. This, okay. This is the main uh, main room. Oh damn it again! I keep forgetting to set my timer. Ah. Oh. All right, I did it. I set the timer, guys. And then I'm making it litty titties in here. All right, now it's litty titties. I keep forgetting. I'm a freaking ding a dongus. What's even funnier, I, I, never mind. Gotcha! Where are these dogs coming from? <laughs> Damn it! Oh, man! Not again! This is the fifth time I died. Oh, man, I should have saved. Oh my goodness! All right, well, ah man, this is what happens when you don't save. It's just it, this is what happens when you don't save. You gotta freaking restart the whole freaking thing. <sighs> All right, so I dealt with the doggos. Um, I'm hoping that nothing else happens. I didn't deal with the uh, the whole ceiling falling thing yet. The Barry saving me. I wanted to go save first, but. Barry. Oh, yep, oh, safe. Jill. Got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I've found. What? A can of fizz. It's <laughs> sure gonna yellow see. and mellow those things. It's yours. Hopefully you won't have to use it. I was gonna say a can of jizz. I was like, what the fuck? Alright. <laughs> limiting, limiting, limiting language. Okay. You got acid shells. Okay. What about you? Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. Yeah, Jill, you're so freaking cute. Okay, so that's kind of weird. That's different. Um, I don't think that would have happened. Well, maybe it would have happened. Um, if I didn't do the uh, ceiling thing. So actually, we might want to do the ceiling thing now just to get the shotgun. Um, we'll skip. We'll skip. So I wanted to deal with the doggos before I uh, started back up showing you guys. 
but um hey got another cutscene <laughs> i've not used the lock pick on that door still have the lock pick uh, dealt with the zombie in the bathtub oh jeez um, oh, this is the room, isn't it? Yes, yeah, the room. Okay. Oh, we should have saved. No, well, uh, we'll save in a sec. I should be fine. It's just those zombie dogs are killer. Zombie dogs are super killer. Uh, we'll take this. Yes, thank you. Uh, we'll take this ribbon. Yes, thank you. And then we'll take the shotgun. Yes, thank you. All right, and then it activates the freaking ceiling falling. Picture stands in bronze states. There's nothing here. You know what? There's just something burnt there in our group smoke. You know what? I'm gonna put the shotgun back. Wait, wait, what's on this? What's a, what's a, oh, I thought there was something on the couch. I'm gonna put the shotgun back. Will you set the shotgun? Oh, I see what you, I see what's asking. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna set it back, and I'm gonna see if I could put something else in replace of that. That's probably a better idea, so that we don't deal with the um, whole. Oh, this, you know, the whole ceiling falling. The sky is falling. All right. Oops. So we're going to find something that we can replace with that. Um, do something a little different. Do something a little bit different. Oh, yep. See, it didn't kill zombies. Oops. Did I, uh, did I kill him? I didn't kill him, did I? No, I didn't. Let's uh, reload that. Okay, got some more inventory space. He's not dead yet. Oh, he's dead now. Okay, okay, good. Um, what is this? It's locked. It's an emblem of an armor. Okay. Oh, and also what I've noticed is that this key opens up all sword uh, doors, I believe. Sword emblem doors. That's what I think, because the door that we opened to get uh, into this area was a sword emblem. It had a sword emblem. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not okay. I don't know why I was so surprised there. <laughs> but yeah, to get in this area, there was a sword emblem door that we could um, get into, and I didn't realize that. I thought it was just a locked, regular, regular locked door. So, shit, shit. There we go. Use that bad boy. Uh, we're gonna shoot him now. There's another zombie. Great. Take this potted plant. Thank you. There's another door here we could use. I have no idea where this is going, by the way. I don't know where we're going right now. We're going on a little adventure. Oh! Oh, hell yeah, dude. There's still plenty of kerosene left. Okay. Oh, we're in a saved area. What is this? A flask? Will you take the fuel canteen? What does it do, though? Oh my god. First aid spray, handgun magazine. Oh, this is perfect. Take that. Um we got green herb. We got first aid spray though, that's good as well. Um what is this canteen used for? A fuel canteen? Oh, we can fuel it with a uh, kerosene. Oh, we can't pick this up yet. Um, our health is fine. I don't want to put anything away though. I want to put maybe this acid shells. These acid shells, because I'm not going to be using the shotgun just yet. I need to find a replacement uh, for that shotgun. So we're going to put that in there. What is this on the ground? A note. Special instructions for the disposable of dead bodies. We have new information regarding those beings. They may appear to be dead, but in fact they are able to come back to life. 
However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently, there are two known methods to seize their resurrection. Incineration and destruction of the head. If further methods are discovered, you will be notified immediately. Meanwhile, to those of you who still have the will to live, oil has been placed on the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. You need something to light it with, which you'll need to find by yourself. Okay. Alright. That's fair enough. Let's take this here. There we go. Uh, let's uh, reload our ah. Uh, use. It's not necessary. Oh, no, combine. There you go. Okay. I get it now. We use the. Um, there's still plenty of kerosene to refill your canteen. Yes. So we can burn these zombies. Also, I'm gonna I'm gonna save. It's an old typewriter. You can save your progress here. Yes. There we go. We're finally saving. We're finally we're finally saving, boys. Wow. Saving content. Save successfully. Is there anything else? Old box and step letters. Okay. That seems to be it. There's a lantern lying on top of the supplies. The warm light makes you relaxed. Okay. To do that. The zombie's dead. There's a zombie up here too. I know. I could hear. I heard him. Yep. Is he dead or is he not dead? No, he's dead. He's dead. He's spilling blood. Okay. There's a door here. There's no knob on the door. You can't go through. Okay. Fair enough. What's this? You unlocked it. I unlocked it! So maybe that was a door uh, specifically for a sword emblem? I don't know. Could be wrong on that one, honestly. What's this? Will you take the wooden mount? God, there's too much stuff, dude. I, I don't know if I could... I don't even know where I am right now. Oh my gee willikers, this place is huge. Uh, there's nothing here but a bunch of knickknacks. Knickknack, paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. It's locked. Armor. What about this one? You use the mansion key. Okay, so... You go through here. Hello! Nice! We're back here! Dope as shit, bro. Dope as shit. Let's go back, though. There's some other stuff in there that I wanted to deal with. I wanted to get frisky with, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright, let's go in here. That door was locked. Uh, let's go over here. We could take them out, but I don't know what that's used for just yet, so there's no point in me taking it and filling up my uh, inventory inventory space, because I need that. Okay. What is this? Will you take the dog whistle? I guess I... Ooh. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured that if I could somehow make it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to be near it. Can't read. As far as I can tell, the mutt is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace, and he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. Okay, this is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near the damn dog without risking a serious mauling. Mowling, uh, mowling, which means only you can put this color on him. The object that Sir Spencer once hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item that you've always wanted to get pulled off? Well, in exchange for your services, I must, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for both of us, John. Well, oh, John Tolman. Interesting. An old-fashioned... Gramophone. The record is Jupiter. Okay. 
You can carry you oh, This is the issue, man. I don't have enough storage space. I gotta put this back. I don't know how to put it back either. Damn it. Oh shit. Yep. You know what? I can't put it back. Ah oh, shoot. Can I drop stuff? I can't drop anything, can I? No, I cannot drop stuff. Alright, what's in here? Oh. Oh, okay, that was the door that I couldn't open, huh? Let's go back to our- okay, let's go back to the safe house. Um, because we do not have space whatsoever. Okay, so we don't need this shield, um, unless we could- I don't know what we could use it for in the, at the moment. Uh, yeah, we'll use the knife. Uh, do we need ribbons at the moment? Like, are we gonna save? Uh, I don't know. No, we'll keep the we could, we'll keep that. The dog, the dog was so we don't need though. At the very moment, green herbs. Yeah, we'll take that. I think that's it. Okay, I think we're good for now. All right. Well, I'm going to leave it off here, guys. Uh, I think I'm cutting it a little bit um, short on this episode, but I'll make it up next episode. So um, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, my name is Pixeled, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye, guys. Bye 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 bye. Mwah, mwah.